When we write our workspaces and build files, we code in a language called Starlark, which is a custom variant of Python. Now for all of you Python developers out there, hold on to your high fives. Starlark is a variant of Python that is a limited version of the language. This was specifically designed for Bazel. It was meant to be deterministic and was designed to run in parallel. Because of this, some of your favorite language features may have been removed. For instance, with Starlark, classes have been pulled from the language. You can't use the import statement. Instead, you use a custom load function. Most built-in functions and most methods aren't supported. There are a bunch of other limitations as well. If you are interested in what Starlark can do, then you should definitely check out the Starlark specification. This gives a comprehensive breakdown at what language features are available to you from the type system to various built-in methods and functions. This may beg the question as to what can you do with Starlark, and the answer is a lot. If you look at the build API, you'll see that Bazel comes with a lot of functions, objects, and types ready to be used out of the box. By viewing the build API documentation, you'll see all the various things that Bazel exposes to our scripts. For those of you who don't know Python, we'll write a little introductory code to get you comfortable, but later you'll definitely need to get up to speed with the language to be productive with writing your build scripts in Bazel. To get started, let's return to our joke generator project. It's all in a mono repo, so we need to move our workspace file from the joke generator subfolder to the root of our mono repo. Now we'll write a little Starlark code to get you started. First off, let's create a comment. In Starlark and well Python, we use the pound symbol. Of course, this is also useful to comment out code while writing your build scripts. Next, we'll define a variable. Here, we'll create a simple name. Now, we'll print it out to the console. Save the file and switch over to the command line. Navigate to the mono repo root. To fire off the build, we have to call the joke generator's build target. This is different from before since we are now calling this from the root of the mono repo. You'll notice that we get a debug statement printed out during the build sequence. And lo and behold, there is a variable printed out. Now, with Starlock, we do get if statements, but we can't use them in the top level of a script. For example, if we were to check for the build name, we would need to wrap it into a function. Let's add the following to see whether jokes are allowed. Now, save and build. And here we get an error. For such a feature, we need to define our own rules file. A rules file is just a text file with a bzl extension. When we import the rules for other language, we import bzl files. In such ways, we keep our logic out of our build definitions. Create a new file called functions.bzl. Now let's define a method to get the current joke policy. Save and return back to the workspace. We need to load our new rule. We use the load method. Replace with the following. Here we are declaring that we are loading the function's rules, and then we are using the getJokePolicy function. Now, before we can run this build, we need to provide an empty build file along with our custom rules. Create an empty file and call it build. Now we can call the function.
Save the file. Now run the build. You'll see we get our joke policy printed out to the console along with the build running to completion. We'll be using the load function a lot through this course as well as some other modules, so play around to get comfortable.